Well, I'm painting the wheels on the locomotive a rust color. All right, well, I'll let that side sit and dry, and then I'll flip it over and do the other side. I painted the fuel tank and these, I think they're air tanks, don't know for sure, have the uh, wheels rusted. Have the trucks back together on the RS3. So just put it out on the layout, run it a little bit, just to make sure everything's working like it should. Something I'm doing is put down some primer, I put down the true color lark gray, and now I'm going to put a little bit of the scarlet red on top of the lark gray. And what I want to do is see how well the red matches these decals. Well this paint has dried for a couple hours. So its color is probably true to what it would be. Now matching these up, the true color scarlet red is a little bit lighter than the microscale decals. But I'm just going to have to go with it because, you know, there's no way I'm going to be able to tape off for these wings. Now I need to start masking off for the scarlet red. And I have an assortment of Tamiya masking tape. I have some two millimeter, three millimeter, 10 millimeter. Now the biggest issue I'm going to have in masking this RS3 is all the handrails are on the model. So that might be a little bit tricky getting in here to tape all this off. And I have the same issue in the back. Handrails are on the model and I have to tape everything off around the handrails. Now one thing about the back of the model is it just gets red around the back where the front I have to deal with the wings. And this decal will go about right here. But you see below the decal, there's a gap. There's a gap down here and this area here, which needs to be red. I have the RS3 mast. And it took a crazy amount of time to mast this. It took me four hours. Now I'm going to paint this with my Badger Sotar 2020 and I'm hoping to have enough control with the airbrush where I don't have to worry about masking this whole body off. Now I'm almost certainly going to have to touch up these handrails because I'm going to get overspray on those. All right, well here we go. Now that, to me, a tape, the tack on that tape is not very high, so it tends to lift. So I'm going to have to pay attention to that. And like always, I'm going to want to pretty thin mixture for my paint. Hey, 
and I have the regulator about 10 to 12 psi. I want to keep the overspray to a minimum, so pretty low pressure. Don't need hardly any any paint. Tape is causing me all sorts of grief right here. Well, I guess that's it. I don't know what I'm going to end up with. I'm probably going to have to do some touch-ups with this tape. It ended up lifting on me in a few spots. So, you know, it is what it is. I'll clean my airbrush, and then I'll pull the tape off, and I'll just see what I have. Well, I had the tape off, and you know, overall, it came out pretty good. The definition of my parting lines is good. Of course, I have red paint on the handrail, so they knew that would that was going to happen. Now, for the front here and the wings, my decals are going to go right here. So I painted, so I painted down here. Now you notice right here, I have a gap and that's because I may only put the decal back this far. Now on this side I forgot to put a piece of tape there 
and so the paint goes all the way back to the cab. So we'll see how that works out. Now, the line on the top is pretty darn good. And I have a little bit of red down here that I may or may not try to touch up. The other side looks pretty good. The top turned out really nice. And the bottom looks pretty good. So other than touching up the handrails back here, I think I'm in pretty good shape in the back. So overall, you know, I think it went pretty well. While I'm waiting for the red paint to cure, I can do a few of these things. It'll take two coats to get a, a real nice even finish. All right, well, I got on a bit of a roll here. And I painted the inside of these openings black. Painted the fan blade like a dull silver. Put the grill back on. Painted the insides of the horns black. Painted the handrails. Painted the MU hoses. I painted this area right here gray. Now I had airbrushed it red all the way back to the cab. So I went in there and I mixed up some really thin lark gray and brush painted that. Now that comes pretty close to matching the gap over on this side. Painted the black and the number boards. These rails will take a, a second coat in a few spots. I have the handrails painted. And I have two coats of gloss clear on the number boards. I've cut out a few decals. I have the Southern Pacific for the long hood, got the SP for the nose, got the wings, got the numbers for the number board, and the cab numbers. I have another decal sheet right here with some additional decals. I'm going to want to add some of those, but I think I want to get these decals on before I mess with those because some of those other decals are really small. And I have the Southern Pacific and the road number on the cab. So now I'm going to put a coat of Microsol on these decals. I have all of the decals on the model.
And I have a little bit of work yet to do with the wings. Now I've been applying Microsol to the wing decal and I still need to work the decal down in around all these small shapes. Now you can see I've gotten a pretty good start on it. But it still needs a little bit of work. So I'll continue to get this decal here wet and work it in with my brush until it fits around the shapes on the shell as tightly as if it was paint. It has to fit down absolutely tight. And I'm getting there, I'm just not quite there yet. And the same is true with the rest of the decals. You can see how the P and the SP fits down around that door. And the decals for the Southern Pacific need to fit down in those grooves where the doors are on the side of the long hood. So I'll continue to work on it until I get it where it needs to be. The decals on the shell are looking pretty good. One thing with the Microsol and the Microscale decals, the Microsol does a pretty good job dissolving the carrier film as you can see around those road number on the cab you know, I had a, a little bit of an issue with decals lifting when I applied the first coat of Microsol and some of my decals got slightly out of skew You know, you can't do much once they move just a little bit and they're saturated with Microsol. That's it. I mean, you either leave them or you destroy them and replace them. There's a few spots on the shell that have a few little blemishes from stripping the old paint. But they're not too noticeable. Overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with the conversion. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Well, I think I'll end this video here. I'm gonna put a little bit more work into the wings, although it's getting pretty close. And once I'm completely satisfied with that, then the shell is going to get a clear coat, the trucks will need to get a clear coat, and the fuel tank a clear coat. So there will be one more part. There will be a part three in this project. And in part three, put a clear coat on the model, put the windows back in, and we'll do a little bit of detailing. So I thank you for watching. Hope you come back and we'll finish it up.